I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News update, the parents accused in the DUI and reckless driving death of their toddler both pleaded not guilty today. Police say Lauren Priscilla was driving drunk and speeding moments before that crash. They say she was racing the boy's father, Cameron Hubbard Jones. Hubbard Jones is still in custody while Priscilla is out on bail. A large fire at the Westgate is under investigation. Crews are looking into the possibility it was a cigarette that started this fire. They also say the person who is believed to have started the fire tried putting it out and was injured. That person was taken to the hospital. Firefighters say when they first arrived, they found the fire in the pool deck area near the cabanas. Some patio furniture was on fire as well. That fire is now out. Sundance helicopters will no longer do tourism flights here in Las Vegas. The permanent shutdown started today and the company cited COVID-19 and the drop in tourism as the reason for the closure. However, Sundance will still do contracted charter work. Now the company has been in business here in the Valley since 1985. Danny. Today was our seventh consecutive day with record heat in Las Vegas. We landed at 111, so setting a new daily high temperature record. The excessive heat warning expires tonight at 10 p.m. So we've all, almost made it through this historic heat wave. We'll hold in the triple digits until about 10 o'clock with increasing clouds into tomorrow as monsoon moisture moves in. So that is going to add in a rain chance. It'll up the humidity, but it helps to drop temperatures. So finally, we'll be below 110 degrees for the first time since last Thursday. A 30% storm chance expected Saturday and Sunday. That drops to about 20% Monday. So don't be surprised if you find a few, a few sprinkles this weekend. Danny, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.